Hello everybody and welcome to another Modded Character Showcase. Today we're going to be showing a brand new character that got released just today as part of the Sacred Dreams mod. It's a new mod with, that adds a new character, the Dream Guard, along with a bunch of new items and some new collectibles and stuff like that. It looks pretty cool. Um, and the Dream Guard here seems pretty interesting. From what I've seen, it looks like we start with this sand pouch that we've got in our bottom right and we can hit enemies with it to apply a status effect. And then enemies that we kill with that status effect are going to... Um, give us the ability to charge up this bar here. And when we charge up this bar, we can gain abilities to um, to upgrade our sand pouch. At least that's what I think it works like. I still haven't really tried it out yet. But you can see, I like apply this sort of status effect to enemies. Oh, lovely. Um, and then, yeah, I can kill them. Ooh, it's got a nice little sound effect with it as well. <laughs> I like that. Okay. Um, all pickups in a room are destroyed, and, okay, that's actually kind of useful to have for later. Uh, we'll see. Okay, that's, that's, the status effect didn't last long there, so I'm going to try that again. Beautiful, okay. Bar's filling up reasonably quickly. It seems that I can just kind of farm rooms with this as well, like, I can hook, sort of take my time, and then, uh... Wait, where'd you go? Cool. Yeah, I can sort of take my time and get as much sand power as I can. I don't have to with every single enemy in the room, obviously, but I can. Lovely. I wonder if killing them with the sand pouch actually has an extra effect. I'm not doing it with you as well. That'd just be annoying. But Baby Pluto, he's cool. I like the Baby Pluto. Thank you. It seems to stun them a little bit when I use it, which is kind of nice. Um, the actual status effect that it applies maybe is a little bit of a sort of different style of stun, uh, which is pretty interesting. But yeah, so far, so good. Probably shouldn't have done it on the biggest enemy there. I don't think I'm going to have time to kill him. Okay, let's be careful here because I just took some really bad damage. Baby Pluto is doing a bang up job, by the way. Just so many tears that it fires. Baby Pluto is the baby best. The best of all of us. The best of men. Okay. That was quite a few enemies to grab there. I like it. This is good. I, I always like these characters that have kind of these mini games as part of their character identity. Because it just, it it's always valuable. Okay, we've hit the halfway point now. Okay, hitting control does do something. Um, it like switches between the slots, but I'm not exactly sure what that means. Um, maybe I have to get it full before I can do anything. Um, there's a little zero there, so I imagine that's uh, denoting how many powers we've got. And I, yeah, I don't know if it's going to be a sort of situation where it automatically applies. Oh, we can do it to bosses. Okay, nice. I don't know if it's going to be a situation where it like automatically applies to um, to like the ability and it's just a random one, or if there's a little interface at which we select what ability we want to grab. I don't exactly know. Maybe it'll say on the uh, wiki page. I have that open, so I'll take a look. want to try and get this boss, because I imagine the boss will be worth quite a lot. But it seems like it's going to be a little difficult with Baby Pluto to actually get this right. I'm going to leave you to do your little bouncy bouncies for a little while. There you go. I think I might have to tap fire to make sure I don't accidentally kill it. That doesn't really help. Okay, let's just go for it. There you go. Oh, there you go. That, that gave us a, a full a full level, so to call it. Uh, taking damage spawns five beams of light near enemies. That sounds good. Um, so let's just try something here. Hmm. That doesn't do anything different yet. Let's take a look at the wiki page and see if we can figure this out. Where are you, wiki page? I thought I had you up. Okay, Sacred Dreams. Let's have a little look-see. The Dream Guard starts the pocket active sand pouch. Use it to apply a new status effect. Killing enemies with a status effect replenishes your sand, your special sand meter. Filling up the meter gives you a point that you can spend to enhance sand pouch with abilities. Um, how do I enhance it exactly? It's like a little menu thing. Okay, one moment. I'm going to try and figure this out. Okay, apparently we just go to the next floor and it'll allow us to upgrade. So you just need to be traveling to the next floor with a point available. Uh, there's no menu, like, sort of thing. 
So we'll come here and then I think... Okay, here we go, yeah. So now there's three different ones here. So let's have a look at what we got here. We've got Pouch Toss. Charge your sand pouch to a range... Sorry, changes your sand pouch to a range attack. Make Solomon slightly longer. Uh, slightly decreases sand pouch recharge speed. Sand pouch uh, attacks will spawn deadly spikes. Um, ooh. Sand pouch's attacks will leave sand trails that slow down enemies on the ground. I like the spikes idea. Sand pouch's attack will spawn deadly spikes. And then what's this? Adds plus one notch to your inventory at the cost of one point. Um, can be destroyed with two bombs um, when inactive to earn some sand meter progression. Okay, so... Well, I'll take this first. So I'm guessing I've, I've got three powers here and I can use a, I can trade one point for one extra notch. But it says bomb twice when inactive to get some sand pouch meter. That's only a little bit, okay. But now we have this. Um, I just want to check something. Okay, so no, it always it always uses that ability no matter what. I like that spike idea, that's cool. Oh, I do need to sneeze. Um, but yeah, I like this. I like this a lot. That seems powerful. I can kind of use it as a little good way to kill enemies off. I wonder if killing them with the spikes gives me sand pouch power as well. I'm not sure. That's really good. I like that. <laughs> this seems like it's going to be really easy to get the next level up. Hopefully I can do it before the next floor. Yeah, so far I really like this idea for a character. It's cool. It seems really good. Oh my god. Oh, wow. Okay, that... That this this trinket is a very strong, <laughs> like a very very strong. It's cool to see that that goes through walls as well. That's uh, very useful. Oh my god, this is we've made something great already, and we can have up to three powers so far. So this could get real wild. I I love this idea. Do you know what this reminds me of? There's a modded character from Enter the Gungeon, um, like this robot character that was made by Sunbunny. That is very similar to this, where it, it swaps having b b the ability to get items for like abilities to upgrade yourself, and it reminds this. This is like the same, well, not exactly the same, but it reminds me of it. Right, I need your sand power. Sounds kind of strange, but I need your sand power. Um, let's go do the boss first. Remember, we must must do it with the uh, thingy here. Okay, let's. Okay. This trinket might not be the most ideal trinket for us right now, because that was, uh, that was pretty annoying. <laughs> was hoping that wouldn't happen. Oops. It's a very strong trinket, but that was, uh, that was mighty unfortunate and probably means we won't get the progress we want this for anymore. Um, I, it's my own fault, because I didn't really sort of pay attention to those little poop diver dudes. I wasn't really paying attention to them, and so I just kind of let them do their thing, and it ended poorly. It ended poorly, yeah. Unfortunately, without a boss kill, I doubt we're getting another level up here. Eh. Okay. Damn it, game. Why can't you be nice to me? All I want is a lot, lot more dream powder. <laughs> I'd have to get, like, every enemy in this room, and I still wouldn't be close. Haha! -ha. Your head does nothing into me in here. Okay, lovely. Damn shame, man. It's a damn shame. That boss was an easy target for us. And we whiffed it. Okay, we're not going to get enough here, so let's just kill him. My bad, people. My bad. I didn't... To be fair... To be fair... What, with this trinket... I didn't expect it to be like, oh, here's a billion beams of light. I thought it'd be like two. And it's like, nah, 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 nah. Let's just wreck the entire room. Let's just use crack the light every time you get hit. Which is absolutely obscene for a trinket. I don't know who made this and was like, yep, that's fine. Imagine getting this on Tainted Maggie. Holy damn. That would be something special. That would truly, truly be something special. Anyways. <laughs> let's keep this boy rolling. Really liking the character so far, though. Um, I love, I love like I said these mini game sort of things, and then you got this extra layer of um, um, you got this extra layer of all these upgrades and stuff, which is really cool. 
Thing is, I want to keep some of these enemies alive so I can use my sand pouch on them, but not the easiest. Okay. I do want to keep this trinket though, because although it's going to cause us problems uh, with getting our sand power up, it is very strong. <laughs> it is, of course, very, very strong. And I think that means it's kind of worth keeping. Uh, no, thank you. Oh, this is going to be a terrible room for this, to be honest. These, these spiders just don't like to group. These bloody things are well annoying. Really? I'm never gonna get a, a fucking devil deal here, am I? I'm play like I've just gotta be so close to the enemies that it's making me play pretty bad. It's fine though, don't worry about it. It's fine. It's all fine. Yeah, I'll I'll re-roll that for a broken heart. The game would let me. <sighs> it's not it's not any better game. Not any better. It's okay, we're somehow alive. We're very, very close here. We might not even need to use the boss kill to uh, finalize this one. We'll get some more powers to look at next floor. It's always a choice between three, I, I assume. Need something to recharge our sand pouch even faster. That would be good. Okay, we've got our nil pasta going on here. The nil pass is a really weird item, man. Really weird item. Okay, we did get a power up. Nice, but we're good to go, so we don't need to sort of worry this floor anymore. But I assume we can still gain powder this uh, this room, so we want to keep doing that, yeah. You want to chill out with your bouncy shots, my guy? I'm hoping I can get something that gives it a bit more range. I'll still try and do the boss as well here, if I can. What I ought to do is hit it with a sand powder, then take damage. Oh, for God's sake, you. It's always you, isn't it? Oh, my God. Right. That didn't really work. This attack always hits me. Don't make me. Hey, we got it. Lovely. Oh, Falgo is amazing as well. Okay. Down we go. A new power awaits us. A new power awaits us. What we got going on here? Killing and damaging enemies with Solomon's um, will give you a small burst of charge to your pouch. Um, duration drastically increases its charge rate. Seems pretty good. Uh, sand pouch attack will shoot stars. Ooh. Increases the damage dealt to enemies with Solomon's. Killing enemy and damaging with, uh, with Solomon's gives you a small burst of charge to your pouch. Slightly decreases. Let's try that out. That sounds pretty cool. You can also do this as well. I wanted faster charge rate, and this seems like it's going to allow for it, so... Ow. This seems like it's going to be pretty good. Although, <laughs> these flies are going to make things more difficult, definitely. I like this a lot, though. I like this a lot. We've got some interesting stuff going on with our powers here. Um... I think it's going to allow for a lot of quick charge up. I mean, these these flies are going to be bad, but good. It seems like we're going to get a lot more sand powder here, this floor. A lot, lot more. And we always like that. Can you guys chill out and not be so far away? Makes my life harder, thank you. What you got for us in here? Golden Teleporter is better than Nil Pasta, but it's not great. <laughs> I don't want another active, to be honest. But then again, I don't really think items are the key player here. I don't really think items are the big thing we need to be sort of 
worrying and fussing about. I don't care. Right. Um, actually, yeah, let's just do the boss. Wow, that was quick. There you go, baby. There you go. Quickly check this out. More of the Void is, of course, real good. So is Eye of the Occult. I'll definitely at least take more of the Void. Eye of the Occult's real good too, but I think I'm just going to stick with more of the Void for now. It gives us a lot of damage to work with. But I want my Star Powder as much as possible first. So I'm going to go back and try and gather, gather more of that. Lovely. Not exactly something I wanted to see, but there you go. The secret room. Ooh, actually, we can bomb into our boss trap room from here, so why the hell do we not do that? Bosses give a lot of star power as well, so even better. Star, good stuff. He died without being star powered. How dare it. Amazing. There you go. Oh my god. We almost filled it there. We almost filled it. Like, if we'd have killed the first boss as well, that definitely would have filled it. God damn. I kind of need to get rid of these rotten hearts. <laughs> they use, they're good, but they're killing enemies from too far away. Okay. Almost there. Oh, hello, Steven. How are you this day? Okay, we got, we're got. we at level two now. We're, we've got two powers. I don't know if we can do two next floor or just... I don't know how that's going to work. Not quite sure how that's going to work. Anyways, we ought, uh, we ought to get skedaddling, skedoodling. And purchase some stuff for the next floor. We also need to get some more notches going on. Uh, teleport 2.0, we really, uh, just, it's not very good for us right now. I'll be honest, it's just not very good for us. Right, down we go. We can't really make it work in this context of this run. Right, so, we got, Sandpouch Stash will leave Sand Trail, um, Sand Pouch will shoot stars, and, uh, it will spawn a Koma Cloud, halts the duration and stuns enemies, um, when collides with enemies. I think I'm going to go with this middle one with the stars. Eee, dream Snatcher. Oh, there's that next ability. Okay, so how does this work? That's plus one notch to your inventory at the cost of one point. I think we have to do that, don't we? Yeah, there you go. So can I leave the room and come back to that? I don't know. No, I can't. Okay. Oh my god. Infuriating room. That hit me, you kidding? Lovely stuff. Health down. Pills are good, guys. Take your pills. Every time. I'm betrayed by pills. Every time. People are like, take your pills, turtle. Take your pills. And the first one's always a tears down or a health down. Really helps your guys' cause. Pills are bullshit. More range is rather nice. I don't know why I'm still holding on to this bag tissue. I'm never going to fucking use it. Lovely stuff. Man apparently I still managed to get a devil deal here. Kapala. Um, yeah, this is risky, but I'm taking it. I need to keep this Eternal Heart alive, though, otherwise this is very risky. Eternal Heart is uh, very precious to us right now. I should not be going to these extra rooms, but oh well. Kapala's a great item. Oh, hello. What the fuck hit me? Someone needs to do some explaining around here. Okay, this, this this thing has made me feel a lot better. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm fine. 
I'm absolutely fine. That made me feel a whole hell of a lot better. But I, I genuinely have no idea what hit me then. That didn't... I don't know why I did that. <laughs> Thank you for the half soul hat. Can we stop with all the enemies that only have... All the rooms that only have one enemy in them. Not conducive to our success right now. Honestly, Everlasting Pill might be better than what we've got going on right now. Wow. Generous. Hmm. We're definitely not going to get enough power before the next floor, that's for sure. Oh my god, sand thingy. Charge fucking quicker. Oh, there's fucking creep on the floor there. I wasn't paying attention. Okay, we've gotten rid of most of our thingy hearts now. Just gonna open that up, big geezer. Honestly, I'll just keep taking damage on purpose because it's working. It's a little hard now with the with the other damage sources we've got going on to use our sand power correctly. Taking damage seems to be our bread and butter right now. Oh, the Kapala makes things harder as well, because enemies of the same type take damage at the same time. Fruity Plum! Hell yes. Come on, little fella. Although Fruity Plum's doing damage on his own accord, we don't want that. Stop it, Fruity Plum. Right. Chill out a minute. Lovely stuff. Chill out again. And again. Right, get you take too close. Oh, for God's sake, light beams! You're always there to disappoint me. <laughs> I love you, but you, you just... You're bitches. <laughs> Melatonin. Right, anyways. Let's be off to the next floor and try not to take too much damage. And try and get another power, but obviously not the next floor. It's a little bit of a shame that it's that you have to go to the next floor rather than just when you're ready. Because it, it limits you a little bit, but eh, it's not too bad. We've got another notch ready here, so we're good to go when we finish this floor. I imagine Mum will give quite a lot of uh, sand powder. Whatever we're calling it. There's a lot going on in this room right now. Oh my lord. <laughs> that was kind of scary. Where's the boss at? Did that give me a lot? It did. A good amount. Oh, my health is still really bad though. I'm taking a lot of damage, as I said. My character looks really cool with his hood on. Kind of forgot you did that for a hot second. I'm just going to kill you. I'm not... Oh, nope. No, I'm not. Don't have enough damage to just kill you. Thought I had 1.5 times damage. I do not. I seemingly do not. Extra bomb there is pretty lovely. Oh god, yeah. We really need some extra HP. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. I don't like this darkness right now. The case of darkness is annoying me. Bugger off, you guys. Right. Where's our next victim? That's actually a pretty good one. It's a lot of extra gear. I need to use this more uh, more often. More It's just hard to charge without accidentally killing stuff. Bad damage. Dry baby doing his thing. 
Kind of up. Some of these rooms are a bit evil, to be honest. So I'm not going to blame myself. Sometimes it is my fault. Sometimes it is my fault. But a lot of times, the rooms are hard. And that's okay. Good, good. Right. we got going on in here. PhD. Ayo. Give me my health ups, please. I want my health back. You took something from me that's mine, and I would like it back. Cool. God damn it, you. Amazing. Got a level up right there, straight away. Very nice, very good. I'm just going to go for it with this guy. Stop doing your little crossy, crossy face thing. Not interested. Beautiful stuff. I do like Kapala for killing him at the same time, though. It is nice. Okay, I can't kill this guy, unfortunately. Oh my god. I'm a really hard time with that guy. What the fuck are you doing, Mr. Longneck? Right, it's boss time. This is going to be kind of hard to get this one timed right. Oh god, more of the void does like fuck all damage to mum. What the hell? I thought that more of the void was gonna absolutely wreck her. And it does like minimal damage. It's because my base damage is like kind of trash. Okay, just play it safe, try and get to low HP before we next sand poucher. We need some actual damage stat. Our damage stat is real bad right now. It's still base. Same, same with the fire rate, to be honest. We've got pretty unlucky thus far here. Right. Now, next time, we want to be hitting her with the uh, the old sand pouch. Beautiful stuff. We've got about half a bar for that. See what our next power is. I'm excited with our fourth slot to see what we end up getting. Right. Range attack. Um, the slowing trail. And, um, attack to a dash that makes you invincible. Sounds pretty cool. Let's go with a trail, though. Okay. Yeah, well, unfortunately, our stats are just absolutely abysmal on this run. So we're having kind of a hard time here. You can see how like low damage we're doing to these enemies. Pretty pathetic. Oh god, that, that animation of you opening your mouth there is scary, man. We'll just keep swimming, we'll just keep swimming and hope for the best. Okay, so there's the little trail on the floor there, look. Not super great, but useful, I guess. Oh lord, what the hell? Why'd the game get so laggy there? That was bizarre. The game did not like that at all. Pin just immediately perished. Pin had no chance to see his family ever again. Lost that soul heart almost immediately. Oh my god. Didn't realize he pooted out a little child. We might die here, but honestly, it's because our stats are just not... Like, I mean, I'm taking some bad damage. That's that's fair. That's completely fair. But our stats are really, really bad. <laughs> like, we've literally not... We've had 1.5 damage up, and that is it. That's the only stat increase we've ever had. Which is unprecedented for Isaac. <laughs> but, oh, we've had a range increase as well. So that's something. We've had our range increase. Ow, I've lost a burn heart. Not great. Not does not bird well. Trying my best here. Okay, 
At least things are dying quick with Kapala, but otherwise things aren't really dying quick. Lovely stuff. We're going to get to level 1 by the looks of it here. Oop, that guy reformed. I did not see you about to do that, good sir. I did not see that coming. It's giving me a lot more burn hearts, game. Holy water just sitting there on the purchase. Still, these ferryman rooms, and the ferryman in general, need an overhaul, in my opinion. They're still way too strong. The, the rooms themselves and the price at which you can pay to get a ferryman room is just... They're so common. You find, like, two of them every run. And the rewards are way too good. Right. Let's keep going and hope I don't lose my cool. I've lost my cool. And by that I mean I was got hit and lost another burn heart. It's not going all that well for ye old turtle melon here. I'm playing like a fool. My stats so bad got me acting like a fool. Also, how is this the wrong way? God damn. But yeah, definitely looking forward to adding this character to the rotation of characters. I think this one seems like a lot of fun, and it seems like it could be quite different every run. Although I will say I have seen repeating uh, sand powers quite a few times. I'm hoping that either the unlock more as you go, or I just got unlucky and there is a lot more. Um, I don't expect there to be absolutely tons, but it'd be nice if there was like at least sort of 20 or 30 different powers. You want it enough to be like a, a good few interesting builds that you can make. It's Bolonka's hat, fuck yeah. We are on the brink of death. And by that, I mean we've died. Okay, that was a really cool look at this character to start off with. I hope you guys did enjoy. Hopefully next time I'll have a better run with it. And yeah, see you guys in the next one.